hi guys in this lecture we will see how to receive the signal from the c plus plus side also from the qml component to generate the signal and it will receive any of the other component like uh, we receive uh, the signal for the connection we made the connection between the component and the classes so let's see how to do this so i am just creating one pro uh, so I put the name which connection right so um, in this lecture we see how to make the connection between the two components so first uh, we see how to like make two connection inside the QML only so let's uh, create uh, first of all we need to import some uh, controls here so I imported the control and import material design here it looks good so what we need to do here I am creating a button and inside the button anchor we put it center and the name of this button is qstr to translate this button name uh, of generate signal okay so it will generate the signal so let's create one signal signal is uh, we create the signal using the signal keywords and we put it uh, the name here so let's uh, button signal so you can also pass at the like property like i am passing the uh, uh, value from here so how to generate the signal let's on click on click so, so what we need to do just i am using this signal okay and put the uh, text text of the button so let's see uh, i'm uh, like generating the signal but uh, i'm not i cannot receive from here like on button signal but it will not receive so how to receive uh, this uh, this signal uh, top of uh, the qml window so how to do this so I'm doing of any other component like uh, I have uh, one label so label this uh, so text should be uh, here I'm using this uh, is a general label okay so let's uh, place somewhere so anchor dot horizontal center parent uh, dot horizontal center and uh, uh what anything we need to do uh, yeah i'm receiving the signal in like i made the connection of the button uh, inside the label so what how to do this i'm making the connections connection so connection will take uh, one or uh, like set we need to set a compulsory need to set that target target means the which uh, component you are targeting so let's uh, put the target inside the target let's put the name of this button and like i'm putting the name my button okay so i'm targeting this my button so let's i'm putting here so how to receive the signal there is particular format to receive the first you need to put the function the keyword function and the signal is the button signal so what uh, another thing we need to put here on it's compulsory to put the on on here so on and the signal name so let's put the signal name but here we need to capitalize the first letter of that signal so on button signal so made this like something like this and here it received the title so if it received the title we also print on the console console.log and the title we received received so here i'm printing this title okay so i made the connection uh, to this button if this signal will generate it it will receive here so the particular format we need to follow here like put the first support the function uh, keywords and then here we need to put the on and then the signal of uh, first letter is should be capital okay so here also uh, you cannot change the format here you need to first letter always a uh, small letter of any of the signal and rest of the you made according to the your choice okay so we receive here title so what do we need to do i am 
uh, this setting the printing the title and also I'm setting this uh, title text okay this is uh, my label so I'm um, my label set the title my label dot text equal to this title okay so I'm setting this label and also printed the signal so let's see if it is working or not okay so let's uh, um, like uh, running and it successfully run and this is the general level so we put here the this is the general level and this is the title button we see and let's uh, generate this signal so what how to generate like clicking on this uh, it will generate this signal and it will receive from here so let's see if it is working or not let's generating the signal okay now it will work it generate signal because we are putting the name here the generate we receive this title here and now it will set it here and also it will printed here you see here it will print it the title we receive a generated signal so this is important when we use the loader and uh, like a stack view because uh, we uh, like push it uh, some pages inside the stack view and after that we receive some signal from that page then uh, there is no uh, connection between the between the two components and how we need to do so how it uh, can receive that signal or from the other places where we need to use that property so we can use the connection connection between the any of the elements so uh, I, I am using here so I, I also can use here similar way to I can also use here so I am like uh, creating the title here I am putting the ID as a root so root here i am changing the this root dot title so it will receive the title here also so any number of connection you can make uh, there is no limitation uh, between them so let's uh, click and here also it uh, changed the generate signal here also you can made any number of connection and any of the elements you can make the connection and after that i'll also in this lecture i'll also show you let's uh, how to make the connection uh, the format is same only uh, you can uh, any like you can also target the c++ class or you can also target the any component okay so let's uh, i'm create one more class here so see how this connection we made from this class so i'm selecting q project my class so i'm created this class so how do you need to i'm creating one property here and the property is qstring type so here the name and i made some public slots uh, access specifier let's generate this property so i generated this property so what we need to set the slot inside the slot like i am initializing that this title uh, my name my name is sorry dr and what is the name is qt developer okay so i set it this initially so whenever the constructor call the name will be initialized to the qt developer let's uh, register this class inside this uh, man so what we need to include here the con context property qml context so context property and also include the header file uh, which is the my class so i included this and now what i am making one uh, my class uh, object my class so new my class okay so i made this constructor let's register engine dot root context sorry root context and set context property so i made this context property like uh, first uh, my class okay so here i'm like putting this uh, object inside this okay so let's use this my class dot uh, name so i made the connection okay so connection connection i'm making here so i'm putting the target target this so i made uh, one signal here also we have uh, the signal which is the name change okay so we receive the signal here like i'm targeting so we put the function and the signal name so on we need to add on and name change so it will receive any it will receive nothing but i i'll send you from here so it will receive after that so i'm putting here you string the title okay so title i am putting it will receive here so what we need to change if it receive so let 
let's see uh, this signal here I'm receiving so here what uh, we receive here let's see uh, I'm setting the title okay so title we receive here so title we receive here so let's see if it is working or not so uh, like uh, console dot log I'm printing the title of C++ class we receive received okay so let's see here title we printing here so how to set this title I am so I am setting the title from clicking this signal okay so just I am clicking this signal uh, dot title my self action okay so I am setting this I'm clicking this and it will set the signal and it will receive from here so we print this okay so I also like changing the root dot title from here root dot title so root dot title should be this title okay so let's uh, this title will set or this title will set let's check so let's see I'm showing this uh, if it is printing or not so I am creating the signal so the title uh, the title we receive generated signal okay title we receive uh, but it is not running because we are using here the title of my class so we need to if this we put here so let's see if it is receive or not so what we need to do here uh, set name okay so I am using the set name here so set name how it will work like I am putting this uh, inside okay so here like I'm receive or not let's check if connection made successfully or not yeah this will work the title uh, is uh, uh, title of the CPP class we receive my self actions this will work it so you can made and the connection between the C++ classes also or inside the QML component also so in future we develop uh, projects so where I'll show you how to this connection uh, we need uh, to develop efficient project uh, or to receive the signal from the different different components uh, we use and from the different different classes to handle these signals okay so that's all from this class see you in next lecture